Most modern furnaces have a component inside it called a hot surface igniter, which lights the furnace every time the thermostat tells the furnace to come on. It's one of these little things here. And it operates on 110 or 115 volts, and it glows red hot for about 5 to 30 seconds, depending upon the furnace. Raw gas comes out of the gas valve simultaneously, and as soon as it hits that hot surface, it lights, and that's what ignites the furnace, and then it starts to produce heat. So every time your furnace comes on, it goes through that energizing cycle. So over the course of a winter, that energizing, turning on and off, of the hot surface igniter may occur thousands of times. Now, a hot surface igniter is pretty much the only component in a furnace that we know has to be replaced periodically because it burns out. It's very much like a light bulb. It has a limited lifespan. An average hot surface igniter will last about three to five years, and a standard igniter is made out of a material called silicon carbide. Now there's a new type of material called silicon nitride, which lasts almost twice as long. So if you're purchasing a new igniter to replace one that had failed on you, you might want to pick up one of the new type made out of the silicon nitride. Let's talk about replacing it, which one you might select for your particular furnace. First thing you want to do is pull out the igniter from your piece of equipment. Usually that's very easy to do, locate it and remove it. Usually there's just one screw that holds it in place. And there's two different methods you can you use to find your replacement. One, look at the model number of the one you have. Either find that exact model on our website or use our easy online reference chart which will recommend the replacement model that we have which should fit right in place uh, for it. The second method is simply to visually inspect the one you have and then look at the ones we have online and find one that looks most similar. And the similar characteristics you're looking for are the base, where it will connect to, uh, the element itself, and then the wiring harness where it connects to the furnace. If you don't find one exactly like what you have on our website, Keep in mind that the most important characteristics are to simply get it to fit in, in place. They all operate on 110 or 115 volts. So as long as you can find one that you can physically get in place and electrically connect, you'll be fine. We do have some universal models. Some of them also come with multiple little uh, wiring harness adapters. So it will connect to the type of adapter you have in your furnace. Or you could even cut off the adapter and just use wire nuts high temperature wire nuts are included in some of the models to hook it right up to your furnace. And it doesn't make a difference which wire connects to which because that's 110 or 115 volts AC. Uh, something to keep in mind when you do replace the igniter and you're handling it to be very careful because the tip here is fragile. It's made out of a glass-like substance which can break quite easily. So use precaution when handling that. Because the igniter is known to go out periodically, every three to five years for standard, or if you have a nitride model, as much as twice as long, you're always going to want to have one on hand so that on the coldest day of the year, if that igniter should fail, you can make that replacement. It'll only take a few minutes and save yourself an expensive service call. Mm -hmm.